Hi, my name is John Peterson. I'm Associate Professor of Environmental Studies and Biology here at Oberlin College, and I'm Chair of the Environmental Studies Program. We are now in an old living room that has been converted into a high-tech, state-of-the-art ecosystem ecology lab. You'll see here my oven plugging into the fireplace. This is where I do some work on carbon analysis, um, soil analysis, and uh, you can see the cabinetry in this, in this uh, space. It's all salvaged from old work at Oberlin College. What we're trying to do here is demonstrate that you can use buildings not just as places in which learning occurs, but also as fundamental parts of the curriculum. So it's a living room, which is now a state-of-the-art lab. My ion chromatograph, which is used for, um, for analysis of uh, nutrients. We're going to head over into the Adam Joseph Lewis Center for Environmental Studies now. Uh, we're going to make a little stop in the bathroom on the way to the other building. So what you're seeing in here is a, um, a normal bathroom, except we've got a waterless urinal here and a composting toilet. My focus here has shifted towards studying the ecology of the built environment. So we're headed right now into the Lewis Center for Environmental Studies. This is one of the uh, showcases of green technology in the country. What you're looking at in this, uh, in this box right here is um, about 150 sensors monitoring all aspects of building function. This is the photovoltaic system here. It's receiving power from the panels up on the roof. That part gathers the data within one minute. That goes to a processing server, and then it gets spit up onto a web. This is probably the best example of material recycling that can go on in a building. This is a wetland ecosystem, and essentially what it's doing is uh, taking the dirty water from the toilets, um, cleaning it through natural ecological processes, and then, um, and then turning it back into water that we can reuse in the toilets. This uh, water sculpture here uh, serves several functions. It's actually a humidifier for the space. This is the little solar panel that runs that, uh, that water sculpture inside. On a sunny day, you get a torrent of water flowing out. On a cloudy day, uh, you get a nice little trickle of water. We became real interested in what would happen if we took that same kind of technology and installed it in a dormitory setting. We developed a technology that we call the Campus Resource Monitoring System. The concept is to monitor the electricity use and water flows in dormitories and then display that to students in real time so that they can see uh, the impact of, their, of the decisions that they make. I was actually an Oberlin student. I lived here my freshman year. And what we're going to do is take a look at uh, the energy orb technology. This is a technology that I developed with my students. What you're looking at here is a colored ball. It glows different colors depending on how much electricity is being consumed within the building. Well, right now, this little orb is sending a wireless signal onto the internet, just going back to the computer in the Lewis Center being processed. We ran competitions between dorms to, to have them reduce their electricity use. And best case scenario, we saw up to 56% reductions. You're walking underneath a 100-kilowatt uh, photovoltaic panel. Um, that used to be the largest solar array on the roof of the Lewis Center. Uh, now this is the largest solar array in Ohio. My car. This was the best you could buy in 97 when I got it. This is not the way to move around in Oberlin. The way to move around in Oberlin is with a bicycle. But uh, it's hard to carry a camera on a bicycle. We're proud to be the first conservatory in the country with a, uh, a, a, uh, a green um, a green academic building. We're coming up on, uh, on Seed House right now, which is the Student Experiment in Ecological Design. This is an old Oberlin house, and uh, what distinguishes it are its residents and their ecological responsibility and the monitoring system that we've developed. This is a water sensor right here, the energy orb. The front lawn of Seed House looks, looks pretty different from uh, the adjacent houses. They're really trying to uh, demonstrate what you can do in terms of food production on, uh, in a small urban environment. Technology we've designed for monitoring resource use in buildings on the Oberlin College campus is something that we're now beginning to deploy in downtown buildings. So right now we're in one of the apartments that's just being completed for the Sustainable Community Associates building. We're going to be monitoring all of the electricity and water use in each apartment and each business. Can you smell it? Indian food. It's not here yet, but it's going to be here. Indian food. Thumbs up to that. We're going to have a large screen positioned right here that is basically going to be, um, it's going to display the resource use. 
Okay, sorry, we'll, we're gonna, we'll, we'll take off. We don't have hard hats, sorry. We're gonna take um, this monitoring technology and actually employ it at a much larger scale. We're gonna measure total city electricity use, total city water use, and water quality within the local river systems. This is the, uh, the river that drains the city of Oberlin, eventually goes into the Black River. Um, water quality is obviously a real important concern to us. We're entering the Oberlin Water Environmental Protection Facility, AKA the wastewater treatment plant. When you flush your toilet in Oberlin, this is where it goes. Again, most people are really unaware of, um, of what happens when they flush their toilet. And we're actually gonna be monitoring total water flows through this facility. This is the old reservoir for the city of Oberlin. It used to be the fresh water supply here. Back when I was a student at Oberlin College in the 80s, I was, uh, I was a biology major. I was actually pre-med. And I think it probably should have been uh, a good signal to me that the, the courses that I loved were the courses on, uh, on mushrooms and plants. Those were the things I was really excited about. So I, uh, I went as far as, you know, taking the medical school admission tests. And I think the fact that I did well on them kind of gave me the freedom to say, you know what, I could be a doctor, but I actually don't want to be taking care of sick people on a planet that's really unhealthy. I want to focus on the planet. So my research focuses on, on water and on electricity, and uh, I think coming out here into the ARB helps remind me about what this is really all about. We want to create a situation in which buildings are not just places in which people learn, but in which they become fundamental components of a curriculum emphasizing environmental stewardship. We're trying to do that in the college, in the community, and hopefully we're creating a model that other people can learn from outside of Oberlin.